Oh, hi. How are you? Uh, I thought tonight might be a good time to bring you some updates from here in Thailand about uh, how the coronavirus is compared to what's going on in the U.S. And uh, so take a look at this second half of the interview I did just the other week with uh, my buddy Wes. If I wanted to leave Thailand, I wouldn't be able to come back. Um, there's coronavirus is surging in the countries that they were talking about having unilateral tourism agreements with. Um, so I'm not I'm not going anywhere for the foreseeable future either. <laughs> there are worse places to be stuck during a global pandemic than the tropical paradise of Phuket, Thailand. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it hit it hit here and it was still snowing. You know, man, it's cold. Yeah, I see your photos on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I miss I miss Phuket. Missed it. Susie and I definitely missed um missed our life abroad, man. We we were having a lot of adventure. Um, um, but I think you know I think now we we have we have the little guy and um, you know so like sometimes I have to put that into perspective a little. Bit. Like even if we were still in Asia, I don't think it would be quite as adventurous as it as it was before that. Um, but like before, man, Susie and I would like go to the Philippines for three or four days, come back, uh, fly back to Hong Kong, stay in Hong Kong for three or four days, then go to Shenzhen for like a week, and then you know, go to Thailand for a couple days. It was like pretty expensive to bounce around and like have a good time and stuff. You no know, flights, international flights can be as cheap as one hundred and fifty dollars round trip, but. You know, my 2020 started very well. Um, I went to Cambodia for my 40th birthday for like five days. I came back from that, did a eight day sailing trip around Southern Thailand and the islands. Then I came back from that and then I went to uh, Rome for 10 days with my with all my, my brother and my two sisters. So I was like, all right, 2020 is gonna be a great year. Like I've already left, I've already gone to, you know, they've already done three amazing adventures. As soon as I get back to Thailand, they lock down the whole country for three and a half months. Now, at this point, they had a total of 2,000 cases of corona in a country of almost 70 million people. They closed everything. Uh, restaurants were only open for takeout, uh, and supermarkets and pharmacies were open, and that was it. There was a curfew at night, mandatory face masks, no travel between towns, and guess what? Yeah, it sucked for three and a half months. Then everything opened back up because for the last 45 days, they've had zero cases in the whole country. And face masks are still required. Um, social distancing rules are supposed to be in effect, but it's kind of hard to do that when they've opened the bars and people are drinking. No one's really adhering to that. But it's just kind of ironic that, you know, yes, it sucked for three and a half months. But now it's been a month and a half with zero new cases. Everything is back open and life is back to normal. So uh, there's you know, some negative aspects, I guess, of, of having to lock down and enforce very strict behavior. But then the positive aspects are life went back to normal relatively quickly. And I'm watching the US and it's just kind of sad. And I, you know, it's, it's it's it would be funny if it weren't so sad because it's become politicized in the US and you know it's either a hoax or it's a pandemic or if you're not wearing a mask you know um you're doing it because you're a free loving patriot versus uh you know a, a trump hating democrat and it's like no it's 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 called a pandemic you moron just wear a mask like what I do love about asian cultures is like if they're feeling slightly sick they'll put on a face mask so they don't get other people infected. It's just like common courtesy. But here it's like, why would I wear a mask to protect other people? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care, you know, so. Yeah, I heard you call it a, a hoax and a, pan, a pandemic. Have you heard the term plandemic that's going around? Yeah, yeah. yeah the, I love how suddenly the world's biggest philanthropist is, is uh, somehow involved with this mass genocide 
chemtrails and microchip processing tracking and they they spread the virus on purpose so they can inoculate everybody with uh you know antibodies and and uh, you know vaccines like really bill bill gates is the is the evil mastermind of the world come on the guy's like literally giving out billions of dollars to to save millions of lives by trying to eradicate polio and funding hundreds of medical startup companies that are trying to like embed better the world and, but he's evil whatever yeah there's been, but there's been a there's been a lot of um weird backpedaling with with american politics experts right um we were told that only medical professionals need to wear masks and then we were that every Everyone should wear a mask, and then I think it even came out that we were told only medical professionals need to wear masks because um, because there weren't enough masks for them, and uh, um, so like it almost seems like we were lied to, man. So oh, I you know, that. I I understand I understand the distrust, and I, I totally get all of that. Um, yeah, I saw that. that um, the, the reason they didn't the reason they didn't order mandatory masks for everyone is because there just wasn't enough uh, at that time, and so they needed to, to basically keep the masks available for the first responders and frontline personnel um, at that time until they could build up their stockpile. Which is also why they said China right. didn't didn't. This is why China didn't announce the global pandemic uh, or didn't announce it because they were trying to stockpile. PPE before the rest of the world uh, knew about it, so they could protect them themselves. But I don't know. Wild. That's wild. Dude, the whole yeah. whole thing is nuts, man. I, I'm not able to really create a whole bunch of new content uh, with the inability to travel here. Um, I've got a couple videos that I can possibly do, but. Uh, I, our, our channel is screaming for some content from you. When, when can the viewers maybe see some some new West related USA content? <laughs> hey man, um, honestly, like Michigan's still kind of under under a lockdown. Like everything's pretty much shut down. Um, you know, I, I guess campgrounds are open, um, but I you know I can't really go camping with the little guy. I don't know what what to do. Like we could, like I could go to the grocery store and record a video of like the grocery store. But there, there's not um, <laughs> a, day like, the, there's like a day not, in the life. There's nothing. Of babies. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to show. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to set expectations. You know, like there's not much going on. So you know, I. I take the I take Tiger for walks in the park. Um, well, things, uh, are, things are like kind of shut down here, man. Wes, it was really good talking to you. Thanks for all the updates from USA. Uh, I hope everything stays. I hope you and your family stay happy and healthy. Yeah, it was good catching up with you too, man. Yeah, dude, it's always good to hear from you and just stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, yeah. Sure, take it easy, buddy. Bye. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you loved viewing it as much as we loved making it. Please subscribe to our channel to keep our adventures going. It's a simple and easy way for you to support these videos. Also, check out our Patreon page where you can join the Eastbound and Up gang by becoming a one-time or monthly sponsor of our videos. Thanks again and see you in our next adventure.